Arlen's was an American discount store chain that opened in 1945 and closed in 1973. Just wanted to say thank you for your suggestion. Arlen's was founded in 1945 by William, Herbert, and Lester Palestine in New Bedford, Massachusetts. The store was actually named after William's son, Arlen. The flagship store was located at 95 Brook Street in an old textile mill building that still stands today. The first two floors were the department store and the top floors were for manufacturing men's outerwear called Ethan Ames. Arlen's supermarket was located across the street. Before there was a Walmart, Kmart, and a Target, there was Arlen's department store. The department store sold everything and anything and even had a pet section selling everything from dogs to cats to turtles and reptiles to even monkeys. The chain spread like wildfire from New Bedford and stores popped up all over the nation. There were 50 stores in 18 states by 1965, generating over $174 million. In 1963, executives tried to start talks with Kings of Newton, Massachusetts regarding a merger. These plans were briefly revived in 1966. Arlen's opened its 50th store in Cudahy, Wisconsin in 1965. Arlen had stores in 18 states from Maine to Colorado. It also owned 18 locations of a toy store called Play World. The chain peaked in size at 119 stores in 1970, by which time the company began experiencing heavy operating losses. The losses would later be attributed, in part, to an expansion strategy that was too geographically diverse for the chain's size, leading to inefficient distribution. In 1971, Arlen's explored the possibility of filing for bankruptcy but it was concluded that such an action would be premature. That same year, Arlen sold 16 stores to Target. Around that time, a recession approached in the early 1970s and revenue began to plummet to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. In 1971, the co-founder, Herbert Palestine, resigned his position. Things must be really bad when the founder leaves his own company. In May of 1973, Arlen's would file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. By that time, the chain had shrunk to 73 stores. An ambitious plan to revive sales during the Christmas 1973 season called Mission Impossible Okay, I didn't mean that Mission Impossible. The plan was called Mission Impossible by company insiders and executed without the disclosure to or approval of the court. This ambitious plan failed to turn the chain's fortunes around. So by January of 1974, Arlen's closed 38 stores. The Securities and Exchange Commission successfully petitioned the court to have the bankruptcy converted to a Chapter 10. The chain continued to shrink dramatically under bankruptcy as losses mounted and Arlen's liquidated its final 10 stores in early 1975 by order of the bankruptcy court. Subsequent court rulings would document various unethical practices by Arlen's legal representatives regarding fees and a lack of candor. By 1975, Arlen's, which had had a peak of 119 stores in 18 states in 1970, was gone from the retail realm, leaving behind only memories. So what are your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. 
Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.